basically emails in and mentions that she Shit. has been experiencing experiencing some jinn activity um, at night in the early hours of the morning when she is trying to sleep. She mentions that there is um, a figure that comes and it basically it has sex with her. It sexually assaults her. It rapes her. And she mentions that this is this could happen to you. You have no idea it could happen to you. So this is very important advice for you to pay attention to, okay? As he said, his prevention is better than cure, okay? You might think this is weird and funny, okay? But you're gonna regret not listening to this when you wake up one day, realize that you've been snuggled, struggled by, by Jen. All right, sorry. Um, five dollars, five euro super chat. Thank you so much, by Kenny Demeter. Kenny Demeter, Jin, <laughs> Jin with a G activity. <laughs> no, J I double N. You know, Jin, the Jin from Islam is where Genie, Genie and Lamb, Genie and Aladdin. That's the same Jin because Aladdin is like Arabic, you know, so yeah. Jinn activity is mostly men menstruation period by blind faith logic. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Deborah, what are you trying to tell us, Deborah? Deborah keeps uh, saying, I'm waiting for these. <laughs> Deborah, Deborah, I, well, yeah, I kept on saying, like, before the stream started, you were saying that, yeah, where are these Jews? Why are they not coming? What are you trying to tell us, Deborah? Huh? Hmm? Are you, are you trying to share something with the rest of us? Hmm, Deborah, we're becoming suspicious here. <laughs> Deborah, <laughs> Deborah's like, what? Um, so I was saying, it's not just funny; it's hilarious. No, guys, this is this is serious advice. Okay, just take this seriously. You're laughing right now. You're gonna regret not paying attention to this. <laughs> Deborah, is occurring on a daily basis. Every day she comes and gets raped by this 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 figure. Now, um, some people you know may, may may be familiar with this kind of thing, um, but some may be familiar on a bit of, on a bit of a lesser scale. There's something that, that that people call sleep paralysis, which is when you're sleeping at night and you yeah. kind of you know you can't move, you can't control anything, or whatever have you. Oh yeah, uh, and isn't it, don't they feel like there's somebody sitting on their chest and looking at them? Oh, what a great excuse for Islam to say that's jinn. Um, that's usually when a jinn comes and it yeah. Comes in, it, 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 it. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. You guys are sneaky. <laughs> Good job finding a way to like insert Islam into things that are real. It messes with you at night, and that's something that a lot of people have experienced. Probably at least at one point in their life, some people they experience it more commonly than others, and for some people, it's quite a consistent problem. Lee saying, are these jinns bisexual? I like the mornings. <laughs> and reoccurring problem that happens. Mm. Now, this is that kind of a problem, okay? Mm. Um, in, 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 in worse, in, in, in cases that are a bit more serious, the person might actually be physically assaulted by being like beaten or hit uh, by this particular, uh, you know, spirit, by this, uh, you know, evil jinn, this evil shaitan, this demon that comes to them at night. And in... Uh, and also an extreme KJ is saying can jinns have sex with sexy Kelly no sick so those bones around sexy Kelly's ne um, neck the necklace those are gin bones so she sexy Kelly has gins for breakfast and serious case as the sisters there are cases where there are women that actually have been raped by such a such a spirit, such a such a demon, mm. and this is something that we're starting to see is becoming a common phenomenon. As there is a hashtag Me Too, right? Even a video that was recently put online about a woman who explains that she's actually, you know, engaging in sexual activity with a girl. They should do it. What happened to this video? What the hell? They should do a Me Too campaign and complain about these gins. That we're starting to see is becoming a common phenomenon. As there is a, even a video that was. 
recently put online about a woman who explains that she's actually, you know, engaging in sexual activity with a ghost. Sex? Yeah, I had sex with the sex. ghost. Oh, that was, what the hell? Just jumped into this? What is this? Uh, British Pakistani atheist saying, do jinns have bones? Actually, that's a very good point. I don't know. No, they don't. They're made out of smokeless fire, so they can't have bones. Why did this all of a sudden turn blurry? And all, <laughs> I did turn blurry and just said, like, started talk sex? Like, hold on, what? Explains that she's actually, you know, engaging in sexual activity with a ghost. Sex? Yeah, I had sex with a ghost. With a ghost? Yeah. Yes. But you can't wrap your arms. Why with... is the whole thing blurry? This is an interview on a TV. <laughs> they went from just like making parts of the female body blurry and like, like they said, screw it, let's make the whole screen blurry. Look at this. Why is the whole thing blurry? Is it for copyright issues or just like there was a woman here? It's around a ghost. No. So how, what, how physically, how does, it, how, how does the sex bit happen? You, you can still feel it. Like it felt it was kind of... Oh difficult to explain like a weight kind of a weight but at the same time weightless and like a physical as the breath yeah i remember this interview we covered it on atheist republic's news section there was this woman who said that she was having sex with ghosts and now they're see they connect everything like ghosts apparently the ghost from the western culture is now just demons that islam always talked about or the jinns that islam always talked about right they just want to every all the all you know this is cultural appropriation, like right? So what was referred to as ghosts in, in Western culture, they're like, oh, yeah, those are the jinns that we were always saying. And stroking and the energy as well. I think the energy was a lot to do with it. Do you feel a connection? And does a sexual experience with a ghost end in orgasm? Um, for me, yeah. Right. Gosh, so wow. I'm a fan for the ghost. Wait, so this woman who we cannot see had orgasms with the ghost, so... Doesn't she seem like she's complaining? I don't know if this is like an accurate title. Um, British Pakistani is saying, if they are made out of smokeless fire, how are they able to penetrate? <gasps> Islam debunked. Hmm. British Pakistani atheist asking the most important questions. Yeah, you're right. Oh, wait, there's Luke also saying, if they're made out of smokeless fire, wouldn't snuggle, struggle, be extremely painful? <laughs> good point, good point. Um, Coco is saying, well, what's the punishment for the jinn, and what is it, Muslim or what? Oh, yeah, actually, we get, we'll get to that, we'll get to that. I just hope so. Now, of course, um, you know, we don't have any textual evidence to substantiate the claim uh, of ghosts being present. Actually, let's be careful here, okay? If somebody abused you because I said, like, she's not complaining because she had an orgasm. No, 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 no. Guys, if you were, somebody forced themselves on you, right? And you had an orgasm, that doesn't mean that you had, that your traumatic experience and the abuse was not an abuse, okay? So let's not dismiss the people who are a target of that kind of abuse that I cannot mention, right? I mean, this guy already mentioned a couple of times, so we're going to probably get penalized for that. But the R word, okay? If somebody R abused you in that way and you had an orgasm, just, be, just understand, like, because a lot of people then psychologically go through this traumatic experience because they hate the experience, but they feel shame at the same time because they had an orgasm. That's nothing that was in your control and you were still a victim of ab abuse, okay? Like there's no, there's like, if you, you know, please don't let that, and I know a lot of people won't share that because they think that dismisses um, their complaint and dismisses the fact that they were abused against their will it shouldn't, okay? You were abused. You were a victim. You don't feel like you don't get to complain. But the way that we would interpret such an incident based on the textual evidences we have is that, that that is a jinn that comes and actually has sexual intercourse with this woman. And this is something that we've heard about, even the Kufar have experienced it. And we're starting to get more common reports from, you know, you know, sisters who are educated with regards to the world of the jinn and they know there's a jinn that's trying to rape me and even there have been cases where brothers have been assaulted uh physically sometimes you know it can also be sexually 
um, uh, by such a such a filthy spirit, such a demon um, during their sleep. Now she mentions this is becoming an increasingly common problem. She tried to speak to her mother about it, but her mother kind of just blew her off and passed it over and just said that basically she's just kind of experiencing this and have and feeling like this because she just wants to have sex. So that's kind of just like her mind playing games on her, making her think because she's just getting desperate, uh, which is obviously not the case for her. She's ad how do you know you're not a you're not a mental health expert? Oh yeah, obviously not the case. Based on your years of experience in in what Islamic studies, you're not a mental health expert. You cannot just say obviously that wasn't the case. I admit that that's not the case. Uh, she's actually feeling this, and she she wakes up in the morning. Um, there have been cases where people actually find. Um, well, we have a new member. Kenny Demeter is a new member. Thank you so much. Welcome to the family, Kenny Demeter. Yes, guys. I am contractually obligated to highlight every comment that of a member who tag uses the tag Atheist Republic. Okay, so thank you so much, Kenny Demeter, for being a member. AJ is saying thank you for this. No, no, it's not a super chat. It's a new member, but same. Yes, thank you, thank you. Uh, discharge between their legs, the kind of discharge that. Wait, that what happened? Discharge between legs? What the hell? And she she wakes up in the morning. Um, there have been cases where people actually find um, a discharge between their legs, the kind of discharge that that occurs when a person has engaged um, in sexual intercourse. Now, generally speaking, that could just be that you had a wet dream. But if you are actually experiencing the feeling of being raped, you're actually feeling the pain, you're actually feeling the physical feeling that comes along with it. Sometimes that can happen in a dream and then you wake up with a physical bruising and the physical kind of thing. Or it might not be a dream. It could actually be that you actually are experiencing it while you're awake, but you're in a state of almost sleep paralysis where you can't do anything or you feel kind of weak and you're just basically being overpowered. And it's basically doing that with you. Now she mentioned. So here's the, um, I was told as a kid that every time we have a wet dream, you just basically had sex with gens and i was always wanted to know as a teenage boy i wanted to know it's weird okay okay i know this is weird but my main question was like as a teenage boy the people the not people the gens that i had sex with without knowing my highest priority with that with that information was are they are they girls and are they hot right so <laughs> that's that's what i wanted to know that's what i wanted to know because i don't know like that would have that would made a lot of difference that you know she started to pray and when she started to pray it got a bit better in the sense that she can't now see the figure raping her, but she still feels the figure raping her. And every day she still has to do the ghusl and cleaning herself and having to take her out of this major ritual impurity by doing the ghusl. <laughs> the uh, recluse is saying, well, they are made out of fire, so they're pretty hot. Yes, literally. Luke is saying for fire. <laughs> yes, yes. Which is the, 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 the bath of purity to uplift yourself from major in ritual impurity.